Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, I want to go over. This is a uh, uh, me you. I guess I've been pronouncing it me lo or me is a me lo, uh, me you. I guess y o. Uh, I guess you pronounce it as a you. Me you. Uh, me you mini two. Uh, about the Nintendo DS and how to improve the uh, the graphic to look look better. I have done that with the other console as well. Uh, this one is actually is is worth uh purchasing because it have like thirty seven console here and even Nintendo DS work here and they did this very nicely because the screen uh setup is easier to maintain than other console that we have looked at like RG uh three five three P and PS so. And I finally got all the game working here, and you just have to do is create the I am, I am as in Mary, G S. So India Mary, uh, goat G for goat. I for India M as in Mary G for, uh, girl, and S as in Sam. Yeah, create that folder. Only thing it need to be uppercase the I. Everything else lowercase, and then you could put all the images in here, in the folder, and the folder won't show up, and you have to do that per each folder. So if you have a game in here, you have to create another I M G S, and then the box art will show up, or you could actually just scrape one by one, which is take forever. Okay, if you have two hundred forty some game, it's gonna take forever. Okay. And not every one of them will show up. So I'm, I have moved all this to my hard drive, and I'm using one terabyte, and uh, I'm scraping them. Uh, I'm trying to scrape all of them as possible, but it's gonna be a long time before I finish this. Okay, but yeah, it's nice to have a box art, and this one supported, so it's it's cool instead of just like a. Uh, analog pocket it didn't support the pictures so we just whole bunch of name but it's easier to set it up i already got that image ready uh set up for you guys if you want to download that but this one's gonna take long because it have a lot of stuff that i have to scrape all right let's go back to nintendo ds and so when you put four game in here which i did and i keep on putting more in it it won't show up so the way to fix this you need to delete uh, what I did, I just empty the folder, okay. Even delete the emulator folder, uh, and then put everything back. But I find out that there's uh, two file. There's a database file that it generated. You need to delete those file, and then the zip file will start working, okay. So let's go to new Super Mario. So you have press the back to scroll down. Uh, let's go up and let's look for I'm scroll I am doing this back here this this button this button uh, is to scroll up and down oop I just went to a wrong uh, different console okay so we have new Super Mario and let me show you how to uh, fix this see I have some of them is mix art and some of them I actually scrape which is um, box art, 3D box art, and I think 3D box art work better uh, here than anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and test. Let's go ahead and start this, and I'll show you how. Now to access out the the game, this is the most important thing, and I try to remember by looking at it. So it's good idea to take a screenshot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, because it tell you how to. Uh, access out the game by pressing the back L which is right here okay and I think you have to press uh, that button with either the select to access out see select plus all this to make this work okay so you have to press the select and then press the L1 to access out uh, quick low and you don't want to do any keyboard Okay, so let's see the main. Oop. What I just do? Okay, 
Now, I also noticed that this one, if you want to change the screen, you could press the select and you get full screen. And if you press the select and, okay. Select and this button, you change the background. So you got two screen and you get to see the, the big screen and the small screen, all right? And then you can start the game, like so. So let me turn this down so I could hear what I'm, what I'm, so you guys could hear me. So we're gonna start the game, and then you could press the back to, uh, I think select back, so let it go fast, because this is very slow. Okay, so I just fast forward, so everything will go doo -doo 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 -doo, super fast. All right. Okay, I want to show you. Uh, let me let me try to undo this. Okay. Now here's the thing, when you start to play the game, you notice the graphic, the mustache is gonna scroll everywhere, gonna move around everywhere, okay? Let's go ahead and do the big screen. See how the mustache is moving around like crazy and the eyeball is moving around like crazy, okay? And one way to fix it is go to the main menu and they did a very nicely created this menu. Uh, that's why I like about this. This is a 2.5.4, a uh, little bit newer than the previous one. Previous one was just a 2.5.0.3, and this one is nicely done. So he had the person create the the Onion OS. They have updated the latest version. So to change the option to make it look better, so the mu the mustache doesn't run around. This is what I did. Okay, last time I did a demo, but I didn't show you how I I fix it. So we're gonna go to, uh, you could, let's see. Okay, the 3D speed override. Fix the uh, 2D screen. You wanna press uh, the arrow key to, to yes. And I'm not sure you need that one, but I want the 3D revolution say yes. Okay, uh, thread 3D, let's do yes. All right, so now you could save it to all game, and which I, that's what I'm gonna do, exercise and save it to all game. All right, so we are going to uh, press uh, B to get out here. So after you change it, you get this big borderline, okay? And if you, if to change the screen from this one to from the second one is press the R2. So by pressing this button right here, you get the second screen and the first screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and press the first screen and let it start the, the game. Alright, now that's how you get rid of this borderline. So let's to do the, to get rid of the borderline, you press the, the menu is to get you this one. Okay, and we, we fix that because uh, we don't have a... Uh, to fast forward, let's go ahead and do fast forward. Select fast forward. So this this is so lengthy. So let's make this go fast first. I just press the, this button and R1 same time to fast forward. Now to get rid of that fast forward, just turn it off. Okay, by pressing select and R1. Now. Let me just demonstrate this real quick and then we're going to get rid of this borderline. So if you was to zoom in to oop, zoom in, if you notice that the eye and the mustache is not running around like crazy anymore. So that's fixed. Okay. Now how to get rid of this doggone borderline. Okay. To do that, you press the select and star same time and you get this one. Okay. Please be careful not to change the D-pad. If you change the D-pad, all the control is all screwed up. I accidentally did that. So you want to go down. So you press down, it's down. And you want to change this main one display into, see why now I have a borderline, see the green? So we want to change that by pressing the right arrow right here to change it to 640 by 480. So now it's a full screen. And to get, to get out, just press B, and continue, now we have a full screen, but pressing R1, R2, R2, you get to change it. 
So now we're in a full screen. So let's uh, zoom in more so you can see that the mustache and the eyes is not moving around. So that's how you uh, fix the Nintendo DS on this system. But please do be careful not to accidentally change your D-pad to a 90 degree, then your, your right and left will not be in the correct direction. So if that happens, when you press right, it's going doing nothing. If you press up, it's going right and down, it's going to left. Then yeah, then you know you you change the the D-pad in the 90 degree. You need to change it back, okay? And so it's cool. So now you can play the Nintendo DS. Alright, so to get out, you just gonna press the L1 by pressing the and this L1 doesn't move, so you press the hold the slack, press this button, and then you get out of the game. Alright.